Welcome to a special episode of Sears. For most of us, growing up, shopping at Sears was pretty normal. I mean, who could forget the Sears catalog during the Christmas season? As early as 2021, there were around 425 Sears stores still open across the United States. This is a significant decrease from the roughly 3,500 stores that were open in early 2018. The decline in the number of Sears stores is due to the number of factors, including the company's bankruptcy filing in 2018 and the sale of many of its assets. So if you want to know more about the history of Sears, check out my video about this iconic store. So let's celebrate. Put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to Sears. Oh, no. Don't adjust your dials on your tube TV. This is actually a Sears that is still in business in 2023. I myself thought they were all gone, kind of like Toys R Us. In fact, this is the last Sears store in Southern California. I know if you Google it, there will probably be another one in Burbank, but that one is temporarily closed. And by temporarily closed, it probably is permanently closed. This location is located at the Whitwood Town Center on 15600 Whitwood Lane in Whittier, California. By looking at this, you'd probably think it was from the 1960s when Sears was in every major city. But believe it or not, this location has only been here since 1996. In fact, this three-level, 130,000 square foot store was actually the Broadway department store the 10th store in the Los Angeles-based chain, and it was officially dedicated on February 13, 1961. It was one of the original three anchors at the Whitwood Mall, or Whitwood Town Center, which was built in 1961. The other two anchor tenants was J.C. Penney on the east and Boston store in the center. In 1996, Federated department stores bought out the Broadway and decided not to convert the Whitwood store to a Macy's for unknown reasons. Federated closed the Broadway in February of 1996. Sears opened a store in the old Broadway on November 2nd, 1996. And here we are in 2023. Sears is still here along with JCPenney on the other side of the parking lot. Since I heard that there was still a Sears store that was open in my area, I decided to take a look and take a walk down memory lane. Walking through its doors for the first time in about 10 years, it brought back memories of when I would come here in the early 1980s. What stood out in my mind was the old familiar smell of a Sears store when you would walk in. Walking through the store, I noticed that the clothing racks and other store fixtures were spread out to hide the lack of inventory the store had. In fact, the jewelry counters were empty. The employees told me that they had stopped selling jewelry in 2020 during the start of the pandemic. If you look closely, the glass cases displayed craftsman tools. Doesn't look too appealing if you ask me. In fact, the store was stocked with plenty of Craftsman products, but by the way it was laid out, it looked like the store was closing. I'd like to apologize ahead of time due to the camera shaking. I was trying to be discreet and not get caught filming in the store. The inside of the store had a similar layout to how Kohl's looks, except with a lot less clothing and the footwear having a lot less selection. From here, my camera decided to go on strike and went towards the light. I went up to the second level and found that it was mostly men in women's fitness apparel. I noticed that there was more Craftsman products on the second level mixed with the clothes. It kind of tells me that there was very little clothing and that it was spread out to give the illusion that Sears has more product on their floor. If Sears were to put all of their products on one floor, then it would look more like the 70s and 80s Sears of yesteryear. The third floor is empty and the escalator was blocked from public access. 
The second floor was kind of sparse, and I decided to go back downstairs. I was there at the store around 12 p.m., and the store was pretty empty. I counted maybe about 10 or 12 shoppers shopping in there. I found many employees organizing things, but honestly, it's kind of sad to see the state of this store. I remember when Sears had a huge toy department, as well as an electronics department with TVs and VCRs and stereo systems. I didn't see if they had any of that, but if they did, it wasn't where I was. I did a few laps around the store just to soak in the old nostalgic feelings and memories of Sears. I had asked an employee if they were closing and she gave me that canned response, I don't think so. Honestly, it didn't take me long to go through the store and I decided to make my way out of the store. So if you're ever in the Whittier area, please go and take a look at this iconic Sears store. Maybe buy something there. I honestly think that it may close pretty soon and all that will be left are our memories of this store. So thank you for watching and help the local economy there by buying something there. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button. Thanks.